Voyager 1 is the first human-made object to enter interstellar space, the space between the stars, where no other probe has gone before. It has made many amazing discoveries and sent back valuable data that have changed our understanding of the universe. But recently, Voyager 1 has encountered a problem that prevents it from communicating with us properly. What is this problem and how can we fix it? And what does this mean for the future of Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2? In this video, we will answer these questions and more using the latest news articles and updates from NASA. We will also learn more about the Voyager mission, its achievements, and its challenges. So, if you are curious about the fate of one of the most successful and longest operating missions in NASA's history, stay tuned and watch this video till the end. The problem that Voyager 1 is facing is a glitch in one of its three onboard computers, called the Flight Data System, FDS, which is responsible for formatting and storing data before sending it to Earth. It also controls some of the spacecraft's functions, such as turning on and off the instruments and the heaters. The glitch causes the FDS to send a repeating gibberish pattern of ones and zeros, which indicates a possible corruption of its memory or software. This means that we cannot receive any meaningful information from Voyager 1, such as its science or engineering data. We can still send commands to Voyager 1, and it can still execute them, but it cannot tell us if it did so correctly or not. Here are some examples of the gibberish data that Voyager 1 is sending back, and how they differ from normal data. As you can see, the gibberish data repeats the same sequence of bits twice, which makes no sense. The normal data, on the other hand, spells out the word engineering on in binary code, which is a valid message. This glitch is not the first one that Voyager 1 has encountered in its long journey. In fact, it has faced several glitches in the past, such as a stuck thruster, a faulty tape recorder, and a power outage. But each time, the engineers were able to diagnose and fix the problem remotely using clever techniques and workarounds. For example, in 2017, they fired up four backup thrusters that had not been used for 37 years to help Voyager 1 orient itself and point its antenna towards Earth. So, how did this glitch happen, and what can we do about it? There are several possible causes and consequences of the glitch, and they are all related to the age, environment, or software of Voyager 1. Let's look at each of them in turn. Let's start with the age. Voyager 1 is very old, by spacecraft standards. It was launched in 1977, and it has been operating for over 46 years. That means that its hardware and software are outdated and prone to wear and tear. Some of its components have already failed or degraded, and others are expected to do so in the near future. For example, its power source, a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, which converts heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity, has been gradually losing power over time. The mission team has been implementing various strategies to extend the spacecraft's lifetime, such as turning off some of the instruments and heaters, and adjusting the power distribution. However, the RTG is expected to run out of power by 2025, which means that Voyager 1 will eventually go silent. Secondly, the environment. Voyager 1 is in a very harsh and unpredictable environment, interstellar space. Interstellar space is the space between the stars, where the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from the sun, gives way to the interstellar medium, the matter and radiation that fills the galaxy. This is very cold, very dark, and very empty, but it is not completely void. It contains some atoms, dust, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields, which can interact with Voyager 1 and its instruments. For example, in 2012, Voyager 1 detected a sudden increase in the density of the interstellar medium, which caused its plasma wave instrument to pick up a series of waves. These waves were later interpreted as the sound of interstellar space, and they confirmed that Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause, the boundary between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. Finally, the software. Voyager 1 is running on very old and complex software, which was designed and coded in the 1970s. It controls the functions and operations of the spacecraft, 
such as collecting and transmitting data, executing commands, and managing errors. This software is stored in the memory of the computers, which can be corrupted or overwritten by cosmic rays, radiation, or other factors. It can also have bugs or errors, which can cause unexpected or undesired behaviors. For example, in 1998, Voyager 1 experienced a software glitch that caused it to enter a safe mode, a state where it shuts down all non-essential systems and waits for instructions from Earth. The glitch was traced to a faulty command that was sent to the spacecraft, and it was fixed by resetting the software. The glitch could be a symptom of the software malfunctioning, and it could affect its communication and functionality. The glitch has several implications for the science and engineering data that Voyager 1 is supposed to collect and transmit. The science data includes information about the interstellar medium, such as its temperature, pressure, density, composition, and magnetic field. The engineering data includes information about the spacecraft's status, such as its power, temperature, orientation, and velocity. Both types of data are valuable for understanding the nature and properties of interstellar space, and for monitoring and maintaining the health and performance of Voyager 1. The mission team is working hard to resolve the issue and restore the communication capabilities of Voyager 1. They are using various methods and tools to communicate with and command the spacecraft, and to diagnose and fix the problem remotely. They are also considering and testing potential solutions and scenarios, and they are updating the public on their progress and expectations. Some of the efforts and plans that the mission team is undertaking is communication, command, diagnosis, and fixing the problem using a variety of techniques and strategies. The mission team is hopeful that they can restore the communication capabilities, as they have done in the past, when the spacecraft encountered other glitches. They are also grateful that Voyager 2, the twin probe of Voyager 1, is still operating normally and sending valuable data from interstellar space. Voyager 2 entered interstellar space in 2018, becoming the second human-made object to do so. The mission team is monitoring and maintaining both spacecraft, and they are planning to continue the Voyager mission until at least 2025, when the power source is expected to run out. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos about space and science. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Voyager 1 and its glitch. Do you think we can fix it? Do you think we will ever hear from it again? Do you think there is someone out there who will receive its message? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.